Imagine never playing a sport and then playing it on a different continent and at the collegiate level. And that's just the beginning of Kathy Aiken's look into the life of number 47, Ezekiel Ziggy Ansah. Welcome to Accra, Ghana, birthplace of BYU junior linebacker Ezekiel Ansa. There's like a lot of people everywhere, you know. There's cars all over the place. You're walking on the streets, you see people. It's, it's about two million people in there. So it's pretty decent. Ansa was pretty decent at basketball. It was his favorite sport in high school. Football was never even a thought. You'd never played, right? I never played football. I saw football as like, I don't think I can play this sports, it's just too physical. There's too much hitting. I, I always called me a delicate flower, you know? They like, called you a delicate flower? No, I called me a delicate flower. You called you, okay. Yeah, I, just, I just love my body too much, you know? So Ansa tried out for BYU basketball in 2008 and 2009, but was unsuccessful both times. After one season on the track team, Ansa figured he'd give that football game a try, but first he had to convince Bronco Mendenhall. He, he, he basically tells you the negative and the positives, you know? It's gonna be a lot of hard work. It's gonna take a lot of your time. You gotta be dedicated. You gotta go all out. It's gonna be hard. Are you willing to do it? Like, that's what he told me, you know? Like, leave me right in my eyes. It's like, we'll see how that goes. So far, it's gone very well. That is after he finally figured out how to put his uniform on. Then came the first hit. It happened right here on BYU's practice field. It was during kickoff coverage, and he was drilled by Kyle Van Noy. I was just like running down. Just, you know, having fun. And then I, he just like hit me from the side. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh. It, it wasn't fun. But you jumped up and still wanted to play. I did, I jumped up actually, and I still ran to the ball. But he, he got me pretty good on that one. Ansa said he was ready for whatever came his way. He says life changed forever after he was converted to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in January of 2008. The only hard part came when the six foot six Ansa was baptized by five foot nine Elder Free. I was nervous to begin with. I was like, I'm taller than you, how are you gonna do this, you know? <laughs> and so he went down with a lot of force and big splash and almost pulled me down with him. We uh, went down in the water and he totally messed up my back. An elbow or knee or something popped out. So we had to do it again. I had to do it twice because it said my elbow came out of the water. I was like, great, how is this going to happen? <laughs> it was interesting. I loved it. But it was a good day. It was. I felt peace. In Provo, Ansa feels at home. He loves school, loves his teammates, and loves the sport he's played less than two seasons. And this once delicate flower has high hopes of one day blossoming in the NFL. I always wanted to play in the NBA. And uh, switching to football hasn't changed that. I still want to play pro, so I, uh, I'm going to work hard. My next year is going to be my senior year. That is when I got to shine. Kathy Aiken reporting. Ansa missed the Idaho State game with a grade 3 MCL sprain, but he hopes to be back in action for TCU on Friday night.